When Elon Musk established SpaceX in 2002, he promised to reduce the cost for space exploration and raise the bar for space research to help NASA with his ambitious programs. The ultimate goal was to reach Mars. Since then, SpaceX has been churning out rockets and other spacecrafts to carry astronauts and heavy payloads into space. In just two decades, SpaceX has come a long way, redefining space exploration. It's amazing how they have managed to mass-produce space components, accessories and equipment in in record time. So what is SpaceX's secret formula? In this video, we are going to show you how SpaceX builds their rocket so quickly and efficiently. Before we take you on another incredible technology trip, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Tech Division. Now, let's get into it. SpaceX is handling most of NASA's operations. SpaceX is currently handling about two-thirds of NASA's launches as well as its heavy payloads. They charge the space agency just $62 million in comparison to competitor United Launch Alliance, who charges almost double that amount. SpaceX largely owes its success to the implementation of its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Since June of 2010, the Falcon 9 group has been successfully manufacturing the Falcon Heavy. It has also become the only private space agency to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. As if the Falcon rockets, Dragon spacecraft, and various bits of equipment weren't enough, SpaceX is also currently engaged in developing something called Starship, which will be a heavy launch space system for interplanetary spaceflight. Unlike some of its rockets, Starship will be fully reusable and will debut with the highest payload capacity of any orbital rocket ever made. In January 2021, SpaceX became the only private company with 143 satellites on missions, more than any other company and more than some government. So, how does SpaceX manage to build their rockets so fast? Unlimited funding for any company engaged in manufacturing objects and equipment for space exploration, there's one major factor that affects production – funding. If there's one thing SpaceX does differently than other companies, it's how they conduct their finances. Whether the space exploration company is profitable or not is unknown because the company won't release that information to the public. However, we suspect that SpaceX takes the profits from their commercial launches and reinvests it into the company for research and development of new technology to make space exploration cheaper. Right now. Starship is the pet project of the company, mainly due to its reusability. This makes it a sustainable project for future space exploration. SpaceX is supported by Tesla. SpaceX is in a business that makes it easy to raise money. In 2021, the company raised $850 million at a valuation of $74 billion. And let's not forget who the company's main stakeholder is. Of course, with Elon Musk, the second richest man in the world, holding the reins, there's very little chance of the company ever going bankrupt. Even if the worst did happen, Musk could simply divert some funds from Tesla or his own pocket to keep SpaceX afloat until it was profitable again. Choice of Material one big factor in their ability to produce space vehicles at such a phenomenal rate is that SpaceX is using different materials. Until now, the favored materials for rocket manufacturing have been aluminium, titanium, or a carbon composite. SpaceX started out the same way. However, since 2019, the company has been using stainless steel because researchers of the space company felt it was a better choice for several reasons. Basically, where raw material is concerned, it is more efficient to use stainless steel. For example, carbon fiber only costs $135 per kilogram, but during production at least 35% of it is wasted. This means the actual amount of carbon fiber that would be needed to make a rocket would end up costing approximately $200 per kilogram instead. Stainless steel, on the other hand, works out to be just $3 per kilogram. This reduction in price allows them to make more rockets. Stainless steel withstands more heat. You might be thinking cheaper doesn't mean better, and that is true. The biggest advantage of using a cheaper material in rocket production, however, is that it allows researchers to conduct live experiments instead of computer simulations. Practical experiments are more telling than just hypothetical mathematics. Furthermore, according to Elon Musk, stainless steel can withstand higher temperatures between 120 and 870 degrees Celsius. Carbon fiber and aluminium can only withstand up to 200 degrees Celsius. The significance of this difference in heat absorption means that during re-entry or other periods of high friction against the exterior, a stainless rocket is less likely to be damaged. This again contributes to the reusability of the spacecraft, further driving down the cost and use of materials. New Technology and Improved Logistics 
Better technology is of course important for being able to make rocket production quick and viable, but equally important is the logistics and convenient communication. In the SpaceX factory, the engineering department and production floor are located adjacent to each other. This improves communication and coordination among the experts and employees working there. In regards to the technology itself, the two-stage rockets produced by SpaceX carry only one set of fuel tanks, which are filled with propellants, to be used across both stages. Earlier rockets would carry three sets of propellants. The reduction of equipment and accessories like sensors and electronics not only reduces the price of the rockets, but also makes them faster to produce. Furthermore, most rockets produced by SpaceX are now reusable. This again helps the company reduce costs. When the costs go down, there are more resources and money available to research and build more. Reusable rockets contribute to the scaling of operations. It not only enables multiple launches, it makes everything more affordable. Elon Musk is the chief designer and CEO. In most industries, the CEO is rarely the same person as the engineer who is directly impacting designs or working on the production line. Perhaps this is another factor that contributes to SpaceX's production speed. Musk is SpaceX's chief designer, and he's involved in virtually every technical decision. Musk says, I know my rocket inside out and backwards. I can tell you the heat treating temper of the skin material, where it changes, why we choose that material, the welding technique, down to the nut's ass. He is a great motivator. Elon Musk is a great motivator who pushes his people to do more than they think is possible. Some people, like SpaceX propulsion chief Tom Mueller, sometimes think that Musk is off his rocker, but ultimately the end game of production is always a product that coincides with Musk's ideas. For instance, like the cost factors of an engine that Musk insists should be always reduced to a factor of 10, the Tony Stark of the rocket world, Musk relentlessly pushes his company to do better, and it always pays off. SpaceX has redefined rocket production. A SpaceX rocket system like the Falcon 9 costs $400 million. If NASA undertook the same exercise independently, it would have cost three times the amount. Such factors prove how SpaceX isn't just producing rockets and spacecraft faster. It has redefined the industry and is changing the equation to make space exploration a much more viable and practical exercise for the benefit of mankind. Now you know how SpaceX is churning out rockets just like they're producing vehicles. Let us know what you think of the company in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe to Tech Division.